Hey everybody, my name's Zach and I will be leading you through a legs only workout. So throughout today, we wanna to emphasize our form, keeping our joints and our muscles and our ligaments safe. And so we really wanna emphasize proper form, warming up properly and just staying in control throughout all of our movements. But to start off, we're just gonna start with some easy march. <clears throat> Bringing those knees up nice and high. Starting to get our heart rate up just a little bit, get our breathing started. Nice and high. You can kind of hold for the top for a second if you want. Nice work. Really focusing and warming up those hip flexors and getting our legs moving. Nice work. I'm gonna stay tall and upright. Keep breathing throughout our entire workout today. Nice job. Gonna do a few more seconds of this. Good, do another three. Good, two and one. Shake those legs out. And now we're going to go into our heel to glute. So we're taking our heel, bringing it up to our opposite glute, using our hamstring, kind of rocking between the two. You can kind of pulse or squeeze or hold at the top really focusing on warming those hamstrings up. Nice work. You can kind of play with your speed, go a little faster or a little slower, whatever your body needs. Nice work. You want to keep breathing. Keep that heart rate up. Good. Nice. We're going to do a few more of these. Do this for another three. Good, and two. And one, let those legs come down. Give them a shake out if they need. And now we're going to go into some hip circles. So we're gonna set our feet at about shoulder width, place our hands on our hips and rotate our hips through full range of motion. All the way to the back, all the way to the side and back to the front. Nice and slow, feeling out all the angles of our hips and our glutes, kind of pushing through our hamstrings. Good. Nice and slow and controlled. Nice work, good. We're gonna go back the opposite direction. Same thing, pushing all the way through the hips, all the way through the back. Nice work. Good. We're going to do this for just one more. Good. Wherever you are, come back to standing. Shake those legs out. We're going to start into our first exercise. For our sets of leg exercises, we're going to do two sets. And so we'll just follow my cueing. But to start, we're going to do just body weight squats. So setting our feet just slightly outside of shoulder width, our toes pointed slightly outwards. We're going to drop our hips back towards the back of the room, bending at the knees and the hips, keeping our chest upright, and then standing back up. Nice work. We really want to focus on our quads and our glutes. We don't want to squat past parallel, only to where you feel comfortable. Nice work. Really focus on your breathing this whole time. You can hold in the bottom if you'd like, or do a pulse, and all the way up. Good. Nice, we're gonna do a few more. Good, let's do another three, and two, and last one, nice. Come back up to standing, catch your breath for a second. And our next movement we're going to go into is a front lunge. So taking one of our legs, driving forward, kicking out, and coming back to center. And then with the other leg, kick out, down to the knee, forming those 90 degree angles, back up to straight. Nice work. Really focus on driving through with your heel, coming back up to standing. Good work. Nice and controlled with these movements. 
keeping our breathing. Nice. We're gonna do a few more. Good, keep alternating between the legs. Nice, let's do another three. And two. And last one, good, back up to standing. Shake those legs out. And now we're going to go into a back lunge. So similar to what we just did, taking our one leg, driving it backwards, stepping back, and then coming back up to center. Nice work. Really focus on that heel drive, engaging those quads, hip flexors, glutes. Nice work. Again, we're stepping back, forming those 90 degree angles. Good. Nice work. Keep that pace up. Nice job. We're going to do another three. Good. And two. And last one. Good. Back up to standing. Again, shake those legs. Next, we're going to move into a standing leg crossover. So taking one of our legs, we're going to bring it out and up to the side. Use our side glutes. And then take that leg and swing it over in front of us. We want to focus on our balance and our control, using our inner and outer hip muscles. Good. Really focus on the squeeze. Try to hit the full range of motion. Nice work. Good, nice and controlled. We'll do another three. And two, nice work. And last one, switch legs, shake it out. Same thing, starting out, crossing over, out and over. Nice and easy, using those abductors and adductors through the full range of motion. Really squeeze and control, focus on your balance. Nice work, everyone. Keep that pace, stay tall, keep breathing the whole time. Good. We'll do another three and two. Last one, good. Back to standing, little shake if you need. Now we're going to move into calf raises. So a couple different options with these. You can do them single-legged, dual-legged, or if you're doing Dual, changing the angles out or in to target different points of our calves. But to start, we're just going to start with our toes painted forward, in line with our body, driving up, hold, and lower back down. All the way up onto those toes and control down, up and down. Again, you can do single leg, support yourself with something if you want the balance or change the angle of those toes. Really focus on powerfully driving up and lowering slow and controlled on the way down. Good. I'm gonna do a few more of these. And let's do another three and two and last one. All right, so I mentioned we're doing two sets. We're gonna go back up to the top and we're gonna do them all again. A little bit quicker, but we're gonna do the same thing. So again, we're starting with those squats. You know, set our feet, drop our hips back. And we're going right back into that leg work. Nice work, everyone. It's gonna be a little harder this time, but you wanna keep breathing, engage our muscles, focus on that form. Nice work. Really getting those quads working, those glutes. Get your breathing up. Nice work. Let's do another three. Good, and two. 
And last one, nice. Back up to standing, catch your breath. Then we're gonna move right back into those front forward lunges. Bring our leg up, pressing back to center. Alternating between the two legs, good. So always the option to add weight. Nice work, keep breathing this whole time, chest nice and tall, really drive with the legs. Good, we'll do another three, and two, and last one, nice, back up to standing. Take that little half step forward, make space for yourself. We're gonna go right into those back lunges. So reaching back, driving back up to center. We re lots of control throughout these movements. Stabilize your knees. Drive with your hips. Don't extend too far backwards. Good. Nice work. Do another three. Good, and two. And last one, nice. Back up to standing, shake those legs out, catch our breath for a minute. Nice work. We're gonna go back into those standing crossovers. So bringing one leg out and back over. Out and over. Really squeezing the inside of our thigh on the bottom and the outside of the top. Nice work. Really smooth and controlled. Good. We'll do another three and two. And last one, switch legs, shake it out. Again, out and in. Focus on that form. Good. Keeping our chest tall. Breathe this whole time. Good. Go for a few more. Nice push. Good. We'll do another three. And two. And last one. Nice work. Next up, we're going back into those calf raises. So same thing. Setting our feet shoulder width. Driving up off the floor. and Lowering back down. Up. And nice, slow and controlled on the way down. Again, those options to change the angles, do single leg, hold at the top, whatever level you prefer. Good. Keep driving with those calves. Nice tall chest, breathe. Good. Let's do another three, two, and one, good. Take those legs out, and now we're going to head down to the floor for our core and ab exercises. So to start off, we're going to take a seat on the ground, set our feet out in front of us, and do crunches. You can put your hands behind your ears, on the floor, on your lap, whatever you prefer. But we want to focus on lowering and lifting our upper back off the ground. Really focus on that squeeze. Option to add a little more of a turn to each side if you want. Good. Nice and easy. Engaging that core. Squeezing all the way to the top. Hold and release. Good. We're going to do another three. And two. Last one, and release. Kind of rest for just a second. We're gonna keep our feet in the same place and we're going to move into hip bridges. So raising our hips up off the ground, all the way up, squeeze at the top, and release. Nice and easy, engage those hip flexors, squeeze your glutes at the top. 
nice and slow and controlled. Keep your core tight. Options to go single leg. Or stick with the dual. Nice and easy. Drive it all the way up and squeeze. We'll do another three. Good. And two. Last one. Nice work. I'm going to take those legs now and extend them out on the floor. We're going to do a single leg lift. So bringing one of our legs all the way up, squeeze, nice and controlled, set it down, and raise the other. We're going to keep that core tight, use our hip flexors, try to keep our lower back pressed to the ground. Nice work. Option to hover your feet or keep them rested on the floor. Nice. We're going to do another three, two, and one. Good. We're going to bring those feet back up with our feet flat on the floor. And now we're going to move into heel taps. So we're going to bring our upper back off the floor and reach towards our ankles, sliding our back across the ground and engaging our obliques. Nice work. Really focus on that contraction in your side, keeping those abs up and engaged. Good work. Do another three and two. And one. Good. Now we're going to sit up, roll to our side, and engage in a side plank. So we're going to set our elbow underneath our shoulder, raise our hips up, and engage our side. We're just going to hold this for a few seconds. We really want to keep that torso nice and straight, our hips stacked on top of each other, and really engage this side muscle. Good. We're going to hold this for another five. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Now we're going to roll over to the other side. Same thing. Set our feet and our hips. Engage our side and lift up. Really want to keep the whole core as tight as possible. Nice work. We want to breathe, but keep it tight. Nice work, everyone. We'll do this for another five, four, Three, two, and one. Nice work. Nice and gentle release down. We're going to come over now to our hands and knees to set up into a plank. Again, we're going to do this on our elbows, but we can also do this on our hands or on our knees in either position. But to start, we're going to raise, try to keep our body as straight as possible engage our core and this is going to be our final push nice work we really want to keep those shoulders engaged core tight nice work i'm going to hold this for a few more seconds good let's do another five four three two and one nice job everyone that now finishes up our strength section of today's workout. And now we're going to move into our cool down section. So we're gonna start with a single leg hamstring stretch. So extending one leg out in front of us, take the other, put it into our knee and gently reach forward towards our toe. We don't wanna reach till pain, just till tension. Kind of catch our breaths here. The heart rate come down. Good. We'll switch legs. Same thing, reaching forward towards that toe. We want to make it a little harder. We can try to reach with both hands. Nice. Good. And release. We're going to move into a calf stretch now. So we're going to take one foot and bring it close to us, grab our toes, and gently pull them towards our shins, stretching out that calf muscle. Nice work. Really want to focus on stretching that out. Good. 
switch to the other side, same thing. Kind of extend the one leg and then stretch that other calf. Nice. Really focus on that engagement. You don't want to stretch, stretch too far. Good. Now we're going to move into a butterfly stretch. So with both feet placed together, we're going to gently open our hips and our knees towards the floor. Breathing throughout this whole time. Good. Nice work. Hold this for a few more seconds and then we're gonna come back up to standing. Good. Gently release, kind of shake those legs. Come up gently back to standing. And to finish it out, we're going to do a standing quad stretch. So reaching it back behind us, grabbing our foot, gently stretching our quad and our hip flexor. We want to work on that balance, breathing. Nice work. Good. And release. Go to the other side. Nice. Same thing. Good balance. Really stretch out that leg. Nice. Hold this for another three, two, and one. Release. Thank you everybody for joining me today on your workout. If you need some more stretching, feel free to do so. Stay up on hydrating and nutrition, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.